Hello to those who have been keeping track of uh, the old CBR929 engine build. Uh, not a whole lot of progress since the last one I posted. I got those pistons in. I sent those off to Millennium and uh, that was mid-December. And I got a call today saying that they're uh, they're back in, in the city here. So I just have to go pick them up and uh, I can start the uh, engine build process. But in the meantime, uh, this is just some of the work I've done. Um, I assembled the, the cylinder head. All the valves are in there and everything's all cleaned up. Brand new valve guide seals. Uh, apparently the valve guides were within spec. Um, there's a little bit of debate and a little bit of drama, on, drama for me anyway. I was concerned that the uh, there was some play in the valve guides um, and I had measured it uh, with a bore gauge and micrometer and consulting some machinists and the consensus was it's in with, within spec and the machinist said, yeah, I'm good to go. So um, with that vote of confidence, I just went ahead and assembled the head. Uh, I didn't bother videoing that. I mean, it's it's tedious work, it's time consuming, but uh, there's no issues there. I just got it all taped up here because I got it stored in the bag and I just don't want any dust and stuff getting on there because I did use um, assembly lube um, to get the lifters in and uh, lubed up the, uh, the exhaust valves, um, or not the exhaust valves, all the valves, I should say. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, we're uh, good to assemble this guy again. I got it taped up just so I don't scratch the surface of the uh, the, the, the mating surface there. Um, so it doesn't throw any sealing issues with the new gasket and stuff. Uh, and the only other work that I've done so far is just getting my engine cases ready to go here. So I had that uh, hideous orange um, metallic paint that I put on there. So I gave those a sanding, um, gave that one a sanding, and then the clutch cover as well. So that's good to go. I'm going to paint that up. I'm probably just gonna go with the uh, the black wrinkle uh, paint. I think that'll look kind of cool. This one gets covered up anyway with uh, with the case cover, uh, the R&B case cover that I've got, um, and that you'll never see anyway. But uh, I'll paint them all the same anyway. None of this uh, silly orange stuff. Um, so yeah, that's basically where we're at. The bike still sits here and uh, just awaiting. Uh, I'll go pick up the engine cases and uh, I'll uh, hopefully get some video of the assembly process. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks.